Yes, yes, boys and girls, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about all the new medallions that have been added into Fortnite this season. Because we've had medallions in the game a long, long time now. They're unique to each season. They're always a bit different to each other. But this season's ones, I think, are one of the worst ones that we've had. And fair enough, there are a few. There's probably like one really good one that I really do enjoy. But the rest of them are a bit dead and just a bit pointless to use. And I don't think it's worth being able to be seen on the map. But before I start talking to you about all of that, I need you to scroll down below, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, do whatever you need, comment if you want, just do something, and then we can continue getting on with the video. Right, now that you've done all that, we can start talking about all the medallions that are in this season. The first off, we have the invisibility one this one is acquired from emma frost i think or mysterio i'm not too sure i get them too confused but anyway when you have this medallion you can be seen on the map just like every other one but when you crouch you can go invisible you can't shoot when you're invisible you can't do anything when you're invisible if you get shot when you're invisible you become visible so it's a bit pointless really unless you're camping and trying to get to late game then it's perfect for that i guess but overall this is definitely the deadest one i really do not enjoy having this i don't think it's worth being seen on the map for it because it's just a bit pointless you can't shoot when you're invisible you can't do anything so i don't really see the point but hey look if you enjoy camping if you enjoy getting to the late game and then and you just want to fight from there that's perfect for you it was just you know it does the job and then we have what i like to call the tracking medallion that is when you can pretty much see every player around you in the 50 meter radius or so i don't know if it's exactly 50 meters just run with me it's just 50 meter radius you can see where players are they'll have like a little red outline to them so you can see exactly where they are you can track them perfectly which with this one i genuinely think this is actually really overpowered i think being able to see your opponent when they can't see you is genuinely cracked say you're hiding in a building or something and they're around you trying to push you you can see exactly where they are you can play the game properly you can definitely you know defend yourself well because you can see exactly what they're doing and they can they don't even know where you are so like the ability to see a player through a wall see exactly what they're doing where they're moving if they're building or not i think it's genuinely so overpowered especially towards the end of the game like when you're really like when it's probably the like last three people you can see exactly where everyone is in a small zone it is perfect i do think it's a little unfair however because like you can see everyone in the game in them small circles it really isn't fair because nobody else can see you but you can see them but at the end of the day you are giving up your location on the map they can all see you as well so i guess it kind of is fair it does kind of balance itself out but at the end of the day i think that is such a overpowered thing to be able to see where everybody is i think it's genuinely amazing now going on to the final medallion that we have in the game this is the siphon one you get this from defeating dr doom over at or what's the place called it's that new place top of the map completely forgot the name jesus but anyway you go and defeat dr doom you get this new siphon medallion it's genuinely really 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 overpowered especially late game it's so amazing i miss siphon just being in the game anyway so the ability to have this and nobody else have it is genuinely just phenomenal because i'm telling you in the final zones when you have siphon and no one else does and there's only like five people left the power you have the confidence you have walking around knowing if you get a kill you're gonna get more health you're not gonna be weak straight after nobody can third party you with this item because we've all been there we've all been there we've all got a kill suddenly another person is right there spraying into our box and just defeats us in seconds like it's just like that with an smg because you're already so weak whereas now that you have the cypher medallion as soon as you kill that person you're already back on health you're already good heal up really quickly get out there and already start fighting again you don't need any rest period of siphon and siphon is definitely the best one that we have in the game by far i believe at least because the invisibility one just really isn't that good the tracking one is good 1000 percent like it's standard it's good like it's a standard medallion you know it's worth being seen on a map 1000 percent and then you have the siphon one which is genuinely i love it i said genuinely so much this in, in this video i'm afraid i'm sorry but i just i i can't get over how amazing this siphon one is i love it and the siphon one somehow is the easiest one to get if you go up and defeat dr doom not many people rush you like not many people are trying to get it either it's so easy to get it's unbelievable like people really are sleeping on this medallion man because people don't realize how overpowered it can be especially when it comes to competitive people don't realize that having that extra bit of health after a fight does all the world of good but anyway boys that has been me talking about the new medallions that have been added to fortnite this season if you did enjoy please do like subscribe do any of that before you leave and i shall see you in the next one peace